Good morning. In this video, you are going to learn how to design and create your own beautiful block theme without touching a line of code. Now, if you think about it, a business owner may want their website to reflect their unique brand, but every theme feels just a bit too generic. When you use the no code method, you can create a custom theme that matches your company's vision. Let's jump straight into it. Here is a zoomed out view of my homepage of the custom theme I created which gives you a good overview of the style or color scheme I've selected. And when I open my style book, we'll get a clearer picture of the new fonts I've chosen for my headings and for text. And finally, when I make my way to templates, we'll see I also modified my single posts template. To start off, let's make our way to appearance and then click on editor. Then we can go to styles and choose a different style. We can choose a style variation that comes with our theme, or we can add our own style. In this example, I will add some custom colors. For the primary color, I will add a dark green, and then I'll go ahead and add a background and tertiary color as well. Then we can return to colors and update the color for text, background, etc. Next, we can choose different fonts for our theme. So let's make our way to typography and click on manage fonts. Here you are able to install fonts from the Google font library. If you don't have access to the font library, you may need to upgrade your plan. I will go ahead and install two complementary fonts to my site, namely Merryweather for headings and Ubuntu Sans for text elements. You can decide how many font variants you want to install. Then we can go ahead and update our text to Ubuntu Sans and our headings to Merryweather. Then I will hit save and make my way to templates as I want to tweak and update the layout of my single posts template. So let's open our single posts template and make a few tweaks. I would like to move the title to below the featured image and I want my featured image block to be nice and big. So I will change the alignment to full width. So now, of course, we can update other templates as well. But for now, let's stick to the single posts template. So what we've essentially done is we've taken a theme, completely changed the design of the theme using WordPress. And now we can use the Create Block Theme plugin to export it as a brand new theme. So when your theme is ready, make your way to plugins and search for the Create Block Theme plugin. And once it is installed, and activated, we can make our way back to the site editor. Then we can click on the little wrench top right and select save changes to theme. And this will save your new fonts as well as the edits you've made in your templates and elsewhere. We can now, for example, go to colors and we'll notice that the custom colors we've added is now part of our theme. When we click on the wrench again, we will notice we can also export this theme as a zip file. And once your zip file is ready, you can go to your fresh install of WordPress, head over to themes, install a new theme, then upload the zip file and click on install now. And when you activate the theme, we can return to the site editor and we'll see our new theme in action. And when I check out one of my blog posts on the front end, I will see a Euro image at the top, followed by the title and text as designed in my single posts template. And that's a wrap. I really think the Create Block Theme plugin is a game changer. It allows you to design your theme within the site editor and see your changes in real time. You can also share mockups with clients and make updates in a safe and secure environment. I hope this video was helpful. I'll see you next time.